Hello, and welcome to Brainiac's weekly blast of exclusive science abuse and special sneak previews with me, John Tickle. First, it's time for my big science breakthrough. This week's breakthrough comes from the world of crustaceans. Scientists in America have developed a granular compound made from shrimp shells, which acts as a blood clotting agent to help wounds stop bleeding. I asked a brainiac to shave with a blunt razor to see if he could recreate this innovation on his shaving cuts. Let's see how he got on. A little bit more work needed then, I think. Lemon juice goes well with seafood. Maybe that'll help. Maybe not. Now it's time to see what's hot in my inbox this week. I've had an email from Lisa in Southend-on-Sea. She writes, Dear John, I'm a big fan of exotic fruit. I'd like to order in a weekly supply of durian fruit, but I'm worried because I've heard that it's really smelly. Is this true? Well, Lisa, let's find out. The durian is a Southeast Asian delicacy, even though it's said to smell like rotting flesh. But just how smelly is it? First, we have to establish a control smell. Oh. Earlier today, this brainiac held his head inside a box containing three of the smelliest things we could think of. <coughs> Stale vomit, a rotten egg, and a sweaty shoe with dog mess on it. We wanted to see how long he could last before he could no longer handle the evil stenches. The answer, 22 seconds. Now we're going to find out how smelly the durian really is by seeing how long the brainiac can last with his head inside a box containing the reeking fruit. There you go, Lisa from Southend-on-Sea. The Brainiac only lasted for eight seconds. Proving that durian fruit smells three times worse than a concoction of stale vomit, rotten eggs and dog muck. If I were you, I'd go for a papaya or kumquat. <coughs> and now it's time for my exclusive preview of show one of Brainiac Science Abuse. <laughs> Yes, it's a brand new series and a brand new presenter, Vic Reeves. Excellent! He leads your favourite all-star cast, including yours truly, Charlotte Hudson, Dr Kilcoyne, Dr Bunhead and Professor Myang Lee. In this week's show, we've got a rocket-powered shed, CO2-powered luggage trolley racing and our new hero, Super Brainiac, blows up a toxic caravan. Plus, loads more science abuse. The first episode of Brand New Brainiac is on Tuesday, 8th of May at 8pm on Sky One. Don't miss it! <laughs>